Hi friends, welcome to Yum Veg Cooking and today we are making an English pastry at home which is the lemon cranberry scone. Being a vegetarian, whenever I want to eat an English pastry, this is the only option that I get but I still have to check if they've not used an egg wash. But today I'm sharing my simple recipe with you. So let's get started. First in a mixing bowl, I've taken 2 cups of maida. And to this, I will add half a cup of cold butter. So what I've done is I've just taken approximately half a stick of butter and then sliced it into small cubes, adding 1 teaspoon of baking powder and that's it. So now all you have to do is rub this cold butter in the flour and this won't take long, it'll just take like 3-4 to four minutes but just keep on mixing it nicely. It is very important to use cold butter in these otherwise you'll not get those flaky layers in scones. Even the milk and cream that we add in the end has to be cold. So although this is almost done, I still can feel a little bit of butter and then what I do at the end is just rub that butter in my hands. So if you can see, I'm just rubbing it and this becomes like really thin slices of butter or just thin layers of butter. And at this point we know that our flour is almost ready and this is just the last step. And now I'm going to add some flavor to the scones. So today I'm making lemon cranberry scones. So I've taken one lime and I'm just going to grate it to get some zest. And I couldn't get enough zest so I'm actually taking two limes. So it just depends on the lemon size. If you have a big one then you can just add one. I'm adding two today. Adding three tablespoons of sugar and three tablespoons of cranberries. Just mixing the dry ingredients. And now we have to put half a cup of cold milk and we have to add really little milk and just keep mixing this. Just adding a little bit more milk and then I'll keep mixing it. One thing we have to remember this is not a batter. We don't have to make a smooth paste or something. This has to be like a lumpy flour dough and as you can see it is all coming together. I'm also adding 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence just to give it a little flavor and then finishing off the milk and mixing it all nicely with my hands just kneading like a dough and this is all ready. So now what we have to do is I'll take a baking tray, put a parchment paper on and then I'm gonna scoop some dough on the sheet with a big spoon. And scones don't need any shape or anything, they are just perfect like this. And they are done, just brushing off some milk on them. And then they go in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. And after almost 20 minutes, you can see how delicious they're looking. They've turned golden brown and this is just the perfect color for them. And I'm also going to make some icing. And for the icing, I'm just putting 3 tablespoons of icing sugar and 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. So I've just squeezed half a lemon or a lime, whatever you have, and then just mix it. That is how simple the icing is. And just mixing it. And it should be a little thick. If it's not as thick, then mix a little bit of more sugar. Usually this icing glaze is made with milk and sugar. But since these are lemon scones, that is why I've used lemon juice. And this will give just the perfect taste to these scones. And just look at these, how perfect they are. And I'll just show it to you. Oh my god, I just cannot wait to taste these. I'm sure you're tempted to make them too. I'm sure you've eaten a lot of desserts and cakes, but this one is a must try. It's a perfect change from our regular recipes. These are perfect for morning breakfast or tea time snacks. Do try this recipe and tag a friend who loves unique recipes. If you like this recipe, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.